What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I've seen this story out of uh, Northwest Oklahoma City. Shout out. And uh, it's about two homeless people that were sleeping, I guess, behind a building. And another homeless person came up to them, doused them in gasoline or some type of accelerant and set them on fire. Now, both of these people are alive right now, but they're saying it's going to take a miracle for the woman uh, out of the two, excuse me, to pull through. Now, a lot of people think down and look down at the homeless, which they shouldn't because they're still people. But I mean, Crimes against the homeless is just as rampant as crimes against regular people out here that aren't homeless. And this guy right here, a 70 year old man whose name has not been, you know, put out in the public today is under arrest. Now, I'm going to play you the first video and then I'm going to play right behind it, the updated video, so you guys can get a full synopsis of what's going on. But either way, man, that's a hell of a way to go. Especially, you know, you ain't did nothing to nobody and all you was doing is sleeping. See, a lot of these crimes against the homeless, whether they're from homeless people or just regular people that look down on people as, they're as if they're less than, you know, climbing. And for what? Their life can't get no better than it is right now. And here comes somebody coming and doing something crazy to them. Take a look, guys. Horrifying scene playing out behind a northwest Oklahoma City business. Two people set on fire on purpose by a suspect. News 4's Mecca Thompson with details. It's something you'd never expect. A man answers his door and finds a woman engulfed in flames. I don't know if I ever be right after that. Corey Spencer has lived in his Northwest Oklahoma City home for over a year, never thinking he'd see something so tragic. Next thing I know, a woman came on fire, engulfed in flames from the, on fire from head to toe. She said the older man, came by and poured gasoline on us and, and walked off. Oklahoma City police say they responded to a quote, unusual call Tuesday morning near Hefner and Western. It was two people being set on fire, possibly sleeping uh, behind the business when another person walked up to them and intentionally set them on fire. McIntyre Law Chopper 4 was first over the scene. Both victims, a man and woman, rushed to the hospital. She was very critically burned. The male also had significant burns. Oklahoma City Police say the person responsible is still out there. They look for security cameras and possible footage they can get that could point us toward a suspect. The business, Aristocats Feline Hotel and Spa, is near the scene. They say they've reported three fires in the area, not including this one. In northwest Oklahoma City, Mecca Thompson, Oklahoma's News 4. More that suspect needs to be found. Both the victims are being treated at Integris Baptist Burn Center. The man is expected to survive, but the woman, as you heard, is in very critical condition. A homeless Oklahoma City couple set on fire this week and a case has left many disturbed. It's just, I don't know. I can't say how I'm feeling. New court documents allege the man and woman knew their attacker. Police say the female victim recognized the suspect as another homeless man who lives in the wooded area. When I asked her, she said she seen it. It was the old man poured gasoline on them while they were asleep, laying there together. This was the neighbor who tried to save the woman after finding her on fire. He told KOCO he saw the suspect mere moments before he saw the unimaginable. When she said old man, I knew exactly who she was talking about because I seen him 30, 40 seconds prior to that. Just hours after allegedly lighting that couple on fire, investigators say the suspect walked back to the crime scene as police were still processing the area. A cat grooming business next door caught the moment the 70 year old suspect walked up to the crime scene before police took him into custody. Court documents reveal investigators smelled a strong odor of accelerant coming from the suspect. Records show the suspect is a convicted felon in Oklahoma County and convicted of first degree robbery in Kansas in 2011. We aren't naming the suspect until he's been formally charged. He's currently in the Oklahoma County Jail on a $1 million bond. Reporting, Kylie Thomas, KOCO, 5 News. Guys, that's the footage of uh, 
you know, what they were talking about, the witness, the guy said she knocked on his door, was engulfed in flames. I bet you that was a hell of a sight because you could see he had some type of PTSD from that. He couldn't even look at the camera. He like, man, damn, I ain't. It's going to take a while to get past that, and it should. You know what I'm saying? Somebody knocking on your door up in the flames like the human torch from the Fantastic Four or whatever. <sighs> so they was just back there sleeping behind the business. Dude, come set them on fire. Then come back to the scene of the crime. That's why it made me think this 70-year-old man is kind of out of his mind. Said he came back smelling like the same gas or accelerant that he threw on the people. Came right up on him, put his hands behind his back. Whatever they did, if he's in his right mind, he felt uber disrespected and he had to take matters into his own hands. Now, I'm going to tell you something. When I was homeless, right? When I first came to Houston, I was homeless. There are some homeless people out there. That, now, you know, a lot of people don't know the homeless people had their own community. There are homeless people out there that are douchebags just like other people are. You know, and a lot of times when you see fights like that, it's usually because something was stolen. Who knows what the case was with this, but I mean... To douse people in accelerant and set them on fire quickly and just walk away at 70 years old. You know what I mean? No fear of them jumping on you with the fire and all this other stuff. It's a bold dude. It must have been something that pushed him to the point where he wanted to do that. But I mean, come on, man. Come on. I mean, the amount of hate that people show amongst each other nowadays in times of them feeling like they disrespected or they Hell, they don't even have to feel disrespected. They can just do this to you. Like it's wild how people are like insensitive to like humankind. Period. I mean, what was so bad that you had to do that? No one is going to get you locked up. But then again, it's summertime. It might be better going where he's going or where he thinks he's going than his present situation. All in all, man, I hope this lady makes a smooth recovery. But I mean, can you just imagine? Not the man. Where the person came to his house on fire, but just being there sleeping, and next thing you know, somebody's throwing some kind of water on you. You don't know, and next thing you know, you burn, you you burning up. Intense searing pain. I'm surprised she could run to somebody's house to even ask for help and speak at the same time while her skin and hair and all that stuff is melting off. I mean, the survival instinct of people is 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 something to be marveled. The human body takes a lot of punishment and Jesus Christ, man, I, I hope she pulls through. But either way, I just want to talk about this for a second, man. This is beyond cruel. But then again, you know, for every action, there's a reaction and every cause has an effect. I wonder what caused this that had them to the point where they was like, eh, he was like, eh, you know what? I'm going to set them both on fire because I'm going to be honest with you. This guy got some type of Alzheimer or something like that. That's a scary situation to have somebody out there doing that type of stuff. You know, luckily for me, when I was homeless, I was in a program and like I slept in shelters and stuff. But there are some people that opt to sleep outside because they don't want to go with the shelter rules and they want to get up and do whatever they want to do. And it is what it is. But I mean, to do this to somebody that's out there and prone in a sleeping position, it's horrific and it's cowardly, in my opinion. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.